Good morning, everybody. In your lab this week, it references the U.S. Standard Atmosphere plot on a Stuve graph like this. It references that because it, in this in this activity, it thinks that you have already done the lab manual one. But I provided the Standard Atmosphere. It looks like this for you. I'm going to show you how we actually plot these things and how we how we, some of the traditions that we use. First of all, here are our temperature profiles for the standard atmosphere. So let's, we, always, we traditionally start at the lowest, uh, lowest altitude. So at altitude zero, the temperature is plus 15. So that's right here. At altitude 11 kilometers, the temperature is minus 56.5. Right here. And up at 16 kilometers, it's also minus 56.5. This is the standard atmosphere, of course. It will vary from this normally. And then we connect the dots, just like grammar school. That's my neighbor going by. He's a nut. OK, here we go. So a couple of things about the standard atmosphere plot. The, your, your daily atmosphere will vary from this, but not terribly. One of the things we, we look at also is that pressures uh, match typically with with standard altitudes. Of course, pressure and temperature are going to go down as you go up in altitude, as anybody in an airplane has ever been. But then you notice this place right here. This is what we call the tropopause. Suddenly the temperature levels off and stays relatively constant as you go up. Up here is the stratosphere, and down here is the troposphere. If you notice this altitude here, you're not too big on metrics. This is about 36,000 feet and up. This is the altitude that airliners cruise at. We know in weather that when temperature stops decreasing as you go up, it becomes very stable. You're going to learn that later. So this is a very good area for for uh, airliners to cruise with low low uh, amounts of turbulence. The winds up here could be high, though, so that's why we end up wanting to plot things like the jet stream directions. So take your standard atmosphere plot that I that I attached for you and then use this for your activity this week